What can we learn from Johnny's path from selling vacuum cleaners on QVC to rolling out a network of water quality testing across North America and Europe? And the close future maybe leading Simple Lab to IPO? Well, quite a lot starting with the seven insights I wrote down and number one, customer driven innovation. Simple Lab targets a growing public concern, contaminants in home drinking water. That concern regularly spikes in the aftermath of sanitary crises, like in the early days of TAPSCORE when the Flint event was still hot in everyone's minds. As Johnny told us, There were people at home who wanted to know what was in their drinking water. They had questions, concerns. We started really focused on the individual mom or dad, somebody who didn't have a background, a professional background in either analytical chemistry or in toxicology or water quality or water at all. That's why Johnny and his co-founder Julio smartly positioned themselves at the intersection of consumer need and market opportunity, addressing water safety fears with a straightforward solution. Where did they get their idea from? Well, in number two, flexibility in business strategy. Indeed, as Johnny reveals, Simple Lab was born from a pivotal shift inspired by observing keen interest during community visits and a timely suggestion from his father while he was considering ditching his company at the time that specialized in arsenic removal. Before you throw this thing out, what's working? And I said, okay, well, we're going to these towns in Central Valley and uh, the best part about it is that when we tell them what's in their drinking water because we've run a test, everyone is listening. They love it. They want to know about arsenic. They want to know about uranium. They want to know about pH. They want to know about TDS. And they're curious about all these heavy metals. It's like suddenly the quiet classroom has come alive. I told him that and I was like, there's the answer. And he said it right like at dinner. He's like, you should just sell water tests. Much like how Instagram zoomed in on photo sharing after experimenting with multiple features, Simple Lab hones in on water testing, turning a side feature into a main attraction and boom, instant success. Yet I bet you they could be making more money in a breeze, which might be a terrible idea because of number three, maintaining customer trust. Simple Lab values the long game over quick profits by refusing to sell consumer data despite lucrative offers. Johnny emphasizes the importance of integrity. Man, we've been struggling for this one for so long. We have a ton of water quality data, as you imagine. Every week, there's a filtration company that reaches out to effectively you know, wants to buy our customer list or something. And the answer is just flat out, no, we would lose everyone's trust, feel pretty crummy about ourselves, and frankly, the whole team would probably just quit if we sold that data to filtration providers. This commitment reinforces their reputation as a trustworthy consumer-centric brand Go check them on Reddit. First, you won't find many water companies that answer their customers on Reddit. But second, you'll also notice that people praise this integrity in Simple Labs approach. Number four, leveraging digital tools for marketing and efficiency. It's not every day that you can adopt a lean startup approach in water endeavors, yet it paid off handsomely for Simple Lab. Sometimes you just have to build an MVP and test your hypothesis. As Johnny recounts, we were able to run ads on a very basic Shopify store and actually have a great ROI on those ads quickly. Meaning to say people were searching for water testing kits and we were running ads, dinky ads. Like we barely had the ability to create the graphics we needed. We had no idea of what copy was gonna sell a water test. We had a storefront that was built by an entire team that had never worked in the water industry before. And we were still able to make money selling water testing kits. And more importantly, we were able to make people happy. Sometimes you should not think twice before giving your gut feeling a chance. Johnny and Julio felt they hit a nerve with water quality testing. Well, I doubt it took more than three hours to have their Shopify up and running and three weeks to ensure it was a solid business idea. Number five, scaling through user-friendly services. Simplifying complex water testing processes has been key to Simple Lab's customer appeal. Johnny describes their approach. We make all of that easy. You can be anyone. And with Simple Lab, we've streamlined that whole experience of like ordering test kits. Understanding is key. We just make that whole process of ordering test kits, collecting the samples, sending them into the laboratory, getting the results back easy. This demystification ensures that no customer needs to be a scientist to understand their water quality. And that's great because customers that are no scientists are clearly the majority keep it simple, stupid, and reap the benefits. Number six, strategically phased international expansion. Johnny outlines a calculated approach to international expansion, starting with English-speaking countries to ease cultural and linguistic transitions, 
He notes, Today everyone is North America, but tomorrow. That's my question. <laughs> Maybe not literally tomorrow, but by next quarter, we will be in Europe. And that is very exciting. This methodical expansion allows Simple Lab to adjust and tailor their offerings in manageable phases. Focus, step by step, build and repeat. That may sound trivial, but it's important to remind everyone. And number seven, building strong partnerships. Effective collaborations, especially with laboratories, enhance Simple Lab service capabilities. Johnny highlights the mutual benefits. We run a warehousing business, a logistics business. So we are procuring materials, preparing sampling kits, taking kind of close track of inventory and shipping and carriers. And there's this element that we take on for the laboratory that they very much appreciate because it's not in the lab's core competency to be an outstanding fulfiller of test kits. These strategic partnerships allow labs to focus on their expertise while Simple Lab manages the logistics, creating a synergistic relationship that boosts efficiency and satisfaction. It's sometimes hard to resist doing everything yourself, but it's pretty always the right thing to do. And there you have it my seven insights from Johnny Pujol in under seven minutes. If you disagree with my selection, tell me. And if you'd like to dive deeper, well, listen to the full interview. You can also jump straight into the chapters. I'm paving the road. Now it's on you to take action. Remember, that episode came to you free of charge, but I would believe not free of value. It takes me quite some time to put all of those together every week. So all I'm asking is for you to help me distribute them. So take this episode, share it with a colleague, a friend, your boss or your team, and I'll be back with another one next week.